Welcome to today's edition of Layoff and Employment News by Employment Boost. If you are an individual affected by a layoff, or if you are a company facing a reduction in force, click the link above now or in the description box below for more information about our firm's outplacement support services and how we can help you as an individual land on your feet faster and get into a new job as quickly as possible, or as an organization, how we can smooth the layoff process and assist with your reduction in force. Welcome to today's edition of Layoff and Employment News by Employment Boost. Today's date is Monday, February 19th, 2024. Now on to today's headlines. Hologic, a Marlboro, Massachusetts-based medical device company focused on women's health, announced via SEC filings that they anticipate making a number of layoffs at international locations this year due to a restructuring of their diagnostics division. Hologic has also said that they expect to close some of their facilities in 2024, primarily due to the changes in business strategies and the discontinuation of certain products. The SEC filings did not go into detail how many employees would be laid off, which facilities would be impacted, or when the cuts would take place. The Amityville School District on Long Island is facing layoffs of up to 47 employees in the district due to a budget $3.6 million deficit. The Amityville School Board announced the coming layoffs late last week, with the proposed cuts entailing 32 teachers, 6 teacher assistants, 5 monitors, 3 security personnel, and a custodian. The superintendent stated in the email to parents that the reason for the deficit was higher costs for children with special needs, a rise in charter school enrollment, and increased costs of security and health insurance. Finally, Dean Phillips, a Democratic congressman from Minnesota who has been running a primary campaign against current U.S. President Joe Biden, has announced that he will be downsizing his campaign team due to a lack of funds. Phillips has stated that he will continue to pursue the presidency, but his downside staff uh, means that he no longer will be able to go out and campaign and will have to remain in Washington, D.C. There's no reporting quite yet on how many staffers were laid off, but it seems to be a significant number. Lastly, we are one of the leading global outplacement and career consultancies on the planet. If you are interested in resume assistance, career planning, or coaching assistance for yourself or your staff, please don't hesitate to reach out to me today.